Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel with a new LEGO military video, today with one of the most famous attack helicopters in the world, the Russian Mi-35 HIND. As the first project of the new year I thought it would be very interesting to make something that all of you loved in the past, because this is the second version of the Mi-24 I already made 7 years ago, I don't exactly remember, but before starting the video I would like to tell you a couple of things. First, this helicopter already has a third version of it that is even more updated and in an actual kit. Yes, I collaborated with a company called Armor Brick, so hello Armor Brick if you are uh, watching this video, and they are selling my HND in a dedicated kit, so you don't have to worry anymore about finding the parts or else you will receive the kit at home like uh, you know, the standard LEGO kits with instructions and all the parts needed. And not only that, the third version of this helicopter also has uh, custom parts that you cannot find anywhere else. So they printed uh, some parts just for that helicopter. And you can also find two dedicated minifigures in the kit. So if you want, you can find in the description of the video the link to buy the whole kit. While about the second thing, this helicopter of course is the second version of my previous uh, HND is much more updated, the parts are more available, uh, is better on scale, so everything was updated and you can find the instructions for it in the description of the video. Instructions made by the same person who did these shots. His name is Kodiak Bricks, you can find his channel in the description of the video or in the right up corner but you can find also tutorials on how he make my instructions or if you want you can check his Instagram account to find more photos of this baby so check it out. And I think these are all the premises, we can finally start checking the project itself as we usually do. In the video I usually show you all the little features not really visible in the photos. First of all, the helicopter is in a minifigure scale as we said before, so here we have the space for the minifigure. Uh, you can open the cockpit this way to check the inside and of course place the minifigure. In this case we simply remove them because we are digitally working, it's easier. And here if you notice bright green parts, these are usually not visible, here you can uh, sit the minifigure so this one is not visible, and you can replace them with any other color. So when you download the instructions, when you find the bright green colors, you can uh, change them with any other color you have uh, at home or it's cheaper to buy. As you may notice we have the space for the minifigures with uh, some instruments for them. Here we have something really peculiar of this helicopter because this gunship not only it's an attack helicopter but it can also transport troops. So of course we have uh, the space for them and not only that you can open uh, the hatch here. Open it. Perfect. So you can place minifigures inside. If you want, there is the space for more minifigures. Uh, something else we can check now is on the front, the main gun. The main gun can actually uh, move. Uh, here you can move it up and down, see? And you can also rotate it, maybe not. Okay, it works. Uh, sorry, sometimes the digital program is a bit weird. Well, if you follow me from a while, you already know it. So uh, you can move the gun. Here we have some sensors that, of course, can move as well. So uh, I don't know. Let's point them uh, this direction. Uh, of course, also the other hatch here can be opened. Um, here you can see some weapons. Uh, I added the standard payload of the Mi-24, but if you want, you can find on my channel also my iCraft uh, weapon pack with all the weapons I designed until now. So if for you they are not enough, then let's continue. Uh, here we can find, of course, the engine uh, section with the main rotor. Rotor that, of course, can rotate. Here, as you may notice, we have a turntable that can make uh, the main rotor to rotate. So, of course, the main rotor can rotate. 
let's go on the back here we can find some antennas some little details here and there a flank because why not and here at the end we have the back uh, rotor that can rotate as well again Whee! and that's it these are all the little features of this baby they are not so many but i think the helicopter itself is really iconic and unique so i love it and also the real mi 35 is one of my favorite helicopter ever especially from movies because i don't know when i was a child i always liked the rambo movies i, I think you know rambo and in the third movie you can see this helicopter so i don't know a special place in my heart Said that, the video finished here, I would like to remind you again that in the description of the video you can find the instructions for the second version of this helicopter, the one uh, we have seen in this video, but you can also find the link to the third version in a kit sold by Armor Brick. So now you have two choices, the instructions for this one or a dedicated kit. Awesome, right? I hope to collaborate with them again and bring you more kits from me, so finger crossed it. As usual, if you liked the video, please remember to leave a thumbs up, it's always appreciated. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next, because uh, if a comment receives many upvotes, probably will be the next project, so it's up to you to let me know uh, what you want to see next. Remember to check the playlist in the right up corner or description of the video to find all my other projects that you may like as well if you liked this one. And subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. Why, why you are not still subscribed? after so many years why why and as usual it's really all the video is finished so thank you for watching the video and see you again next time with a new project bye howdy i'm kodiak bricks and i make stuff i find that one of the most important aspects of designing well is to pick appropriate music to design with for example swing can go well if you're designing a 1920s speakeasy if you need some inspiration to finish your version of a Kerbal Space Program craft, look no further than the game's soundtrack itself. And if you need to knuckle out some instructions for a Russian APC, you can... What is that noise? Opa!